Well, what's up guys welcome back to the channel um, today we've got a pretty neat project that we're going to do today we're actually going to take this 1967 ben pearson mace sovereign mace bow and we're going to rework it this thing was in a guy's attic a friend of mine gave it to me and it's in pretty rough shape but we wanted to do a bow restoration project and so that's what we're going to do on today's video we're just going to take you along uh, we've never done one before, so we'll be learning, and uh, you'll be learning at the same time we are. And so uh, that, that's what we're going to do. So let's jump right on into the video and see if we can't make this baby look really good. All right, guys, I think the first thing that we need to do uh, is to scrape off this uh, arrow rest, which worked out pretty good because... That thing was old and just need to scrape it off just a little bit. I don't want to scrape too much and for the most part a lot of what this is going to entail is a lot of sanding, a lot of sanding. But from what I've gathered from watching other people do this, you just have to do it the right way. You don't want to sand too much and get into that glass and mess up the tiller of the bow, mess up the way it shoots and all that good stuff. But you can you can see, man, it, it's pretty rough. I mean, it's got a lot of cracks and stuff on it, but it looks like it's all on that outer surface of... Um, polyurethane or whatever it is that they put that clear coat they put on it so i feel like i feel like it's gonna be fine i mean that's just chipping off right there you can, you can see that it's just chipping chipping away so i feel like when we start sanding this bad boy she's gonna get to looking pretty good so we're gonna start out with a um this is a 80 grit sandpaper and and we're i think we'll work our way up to like a uh, 220 and we're going to try this we may end up doing it with our hand but I'm going to try this at first This thing is gonna look great. Look at the difference in the color of it over here and the color, the natural color. How, how, how awesome is that gonna look? Some of that glass is a little bit harder to come off, so I think I'm gonna have to do it with my hand, but which is gonna take a long time, but I think that's probably gonna end up being best. But I'm gonna hit it the best I can with this, and, uh, and then we'll do it with our hand. Man, that's beautiful. That's going to be awesome. I actually watched a few guys on YouTube doing this. And uh, I'm kind of fascinated with the traditional archery. So I thought, man, that would be kind of cool. I, I, I made a couple of bows. One of them turned out pretty good, but it ended up cracking later. I killed a deer with it, but... <coughs> I've been wanting to make another one, and then I saw some guys doing this from, I think it was Great Plains Archery, and 
and uh, they were just refurbishing these old bows, and I thought, man, that's that's pretty sweet to make that thing pop again like it did when it was brand new. So I, I just threw out on Facebook asking anybody if they had any old ones, and one of my friends said, I got one a guy gave me. He found it in his attic. You can have it, and so he gave it to me at church one day, and then I looked looked it up and saw it was a 1967 model so I was like how cool is that to restore something like that from Ben Pearson which I read that Ben, ben Pearson got started making bows by reading some articles and things when he was in Boy Scouts and uh, he made a bow and competed in a competition Got next to last place, but that kind of started the journey for him to make bows and compete. And the next thing you know, we have one of the largest bow companies from Pine Bluff, Arkansas. That was interesting information too. Well, that's a pain right there. got warm now took my hat off but I've got it pretty good <clears throat> on this side got it fairly decent on this side obviously I'm gonna have to smooth all that up with uh, 220 grit sandpaper I've been using 80 and 120 and uh, it's been pretty rough around the uh, rest and the shelf and then the handle and so I actually went in there a few minutes ago in my shop and thought maybe I could get a, a round file and that would help me get the um, uh, that just that polyurethane off of this round handle because I don't have a drum from a drill um, but it, <clears throat> that didn't work too good and so what I did is I went in there and I got my cabinet scraper uh, which is what I use when I pull uh, wood slowly shave wood off of a longbow or recurve when I'm making it and I found that that works pretty well if you just kind of scrape you just can't scrape too hard if you scrape too hard then you'll get into the wood you don't want to do that you just want to get that clear polyurethane off of there. I don't know if you can see this, but it's just popping right off. Stuff is old. It's not sticking that great. You just got to make sure you don't do it. Get it into the wood. But even if you did, I mean, we can... I, I've seen the guys at Great Plains uh, reshape the handle on these things and make them narrower, so it ain't like it's that big of a deal, but I, I just prefer not to get into the wood. But this is making it so much easier. I know that. I've been sanding probably for about an hour. That just goes to show you. And I haven't even gotten the limbs yet. Um, so I basically just got the sides, the edges lightly. I'll have to do them again. And then basically the riser. That's pretty much it. I'm not even through with it. So it takes a while, man. It's a patience game. true boy need to do it it looks great Just a hair, not bad, like a eighth of an inch.
<laughs> Pretty good. See if I got old air in here. shape we just need to sand it a little more and put the clear coat on it we're gonna do a little bit more sanding and then we'll put clear coat on it and we'll show you what it looks like when we do that all right guys we've got everything sanded down it looks real good and uh we, we wrote the numbers on the side of it a few minutes ago just to keep the measurements of everything in case somebody else gets it later. But we're going to put this clear coat on it, and uh, we're going to probably put about three coats on it. We're going to start at the top, make her look good. Here we go. Just want an even coat. Still recording. Man, that looks good. Son, that's pretty. We're going to probably let that dry. And then we're gonna um, we're gonna lightly lightly sand it because I see a few bubbles and I, we can't have that that first little bit that I did it bubbled up on me I don't know why but we're gonna let that dry sand it just a little with maybe some uh, 400 grit and then put another coat on it so let's let her sit there a little while some of it I missed a little bit. Man, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. 